everybody! Welcome to my channel. Today I will be unboxing uh, this big bad boy, the Loot Crate DX. I actually won this from their Crate a Day giveaway and I could have got any of the boxes but I decided I wanted to try the DX box. And so it finally got here. I won it last month so I've already cut the tape. We're gonna go ahead and take a look inside this bad boy. Okay. From the looks of it, this looks like it was last month's. Which I'm excitable about. Because I know that there was some good stuff in last month's. We're gonna start with this since it's right here on the top. We got the time machine from Back to the Future, which is really awesome. I really like this. It says collect all three. And these are the three that you could have collected. Um, let's see. I think okay. I have Maybe the normal one? I'm, I'm not quite sure because two of them look very similar. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and open it. Because this is something I will put on display because I like Back to the Future. It was good for its era. So, as I fight with everything. And this will give me a chance to actually be able to tell. Oh, never mind. Down in the bottom of the box, there was a lightning rod, which means that it, if it's that one, then I got the very first one on the thing. This guy, right? Oh, right there. Everything's backwards on my camera here. Right there. So I have to insert the attachment apparently and everything this this thing is heavy so it is very well made oh I'm gonna have to wait to open it it is actually screwed in and these little tiny holes there's little screws keeping it screwed in but it's still really awesome I'm, I can't wait to put it on display. The wheels do move on it. It is a very nice car. Um, I think the doors open because there is like tape or plastic going through them. So there's a chance that they open. I think they fold up. So that's really cool. So. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait to put that on display. It's so nice. Okay, moving on. We got this Mad Max Fury Road. The, it's the art of. So it's got some really nifty stuff here. I'll just kind of open up pages here, kind of show you some of the artwork. really cool. Um, it says it's a Loot Crate exclusive. And as far as I can see, there is no price on it, but usually books like these run like around 20 to $30 depending, because I've gotten some Art of books and they've ran me like $30. So, it's pretty nice. It's um soft cover. And, you know, when you first open the book, that's what it looks like when you first open it. Kind of interesting. So I'll definitely have to look through this. It looks like it's got some really cool stuff in it. My husband might even like reading through it. Okay, 
Moving on. Um, next thing is this shirt, which it's a paper airplane. This shirt, I love the type of shirt it is. I always love these kind of sleeves and everything. I think it's um, a two-third sleeve. I think that's what it is. It's a little bit, you know, shorter on the arms and everything. I think. I could be mistaken, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. The design is very simplistic, but it kind of takes you back to your childhood when you're in class and you're making paper airplanes because you're goofing off and everything. So I really like that. It's very nice. Definitely enjoy wearing that. Okay. Um, I'm going to save the big thing for last here. This, yep, this was for September 2016, and it was Speed. This is the pin that you got, which this is really cool. It's a pretty good size pin. It's got two pin backs on it, so it's really cool. I love collecting the pins, so another pin for my collection. Okay, and then the final item, this really awesome, really nicely made Transformers bag. I am so excited to have this bag. I'm so excited. Oh. And this is supposed to be a Loot Crate exclusive. Now, I know a lot of people said that they were having trouble figuring out this bag. From what I've heard, the bag goes and it gets slung over your shoulder, and this little strap right here actually will clip under your arm for added security, and your bag should actually be pretty much upright if you put it on correctly. So, it will be really interesting to carry around and see how many people recognize the design. It's got a nice patch right here. Seems to be made of pretty good material. It's magnetic, so if you can hear that. And then the inside of it looks really cool. So, And it's got one really nice big pocket and then it's got a little velcro pocket down inside of it right here. Kind of divides it up, but you can velcro like a laptop in there or something. And you got this right here. It's got a little zipper pouch right here and a place to put like pencils and whatnot and a little velcro pocket there. And it's it's just overall a really nice bag. The back clip is a very big, sturdy looking clip, so that's really nice. All in all, I really love this bag. So I'm looking forward to using this. Might even stick a laptop in it. Okay. Now the box here it showed the time machine and unfortunately as far as I know these ones don't transform but at the very bottom of the box it says we don't need roads so that's really cool okay so the very very last thing in here is the thing that actually talks about the items so I'm gonna go through this really quick here um okay it has the exclusive Transformers messenger bag treat your belongings to a great ride in the sleek Autobot bag outfitted with magnetic class dual adjustable buckles compartments for your laptop and accessories and especially design interior it'll make you feel like a prime licensed by Hasbro you won't find this Loot Crate Labs original anywhere else then there's the Back to the Future 
124 scale DeLorean replica. Uh, 88 miles per hour, one of the most famous speeds in cinematic history, connected to one of the most recognized vehicles of all time. And this highly detailed die-cast DeLorean replica looks like it's ready to burn rubber even standing still. How detailed is it? It sports rolling rubber tires, full instrumentation, and even the gold doors open. Licensed by Universal and made by Welly. Then there's the Art of Mad Max Fury Road. The post-apocalyptic vehicle, vehicle fest captured a lot of hearts, so we wanted to celebrate the film with this exclusive format art book, licensed by Warner Bros. and made by Titan Publishing. This month's pin. Vroom vroom. We advise everyone obey speed limits, but you can always feel like you're in the fast lane with this hot rod. Ah, the shirt is from Super 7. Super 7 Paper Airplane Regalon. Paper planes aren't necessarily a thing people think about often, but for a lot of kids, it's their first experience with speed. We salute the simple joy of perfect paper flight with this shirt, made by Loot Crate Labs. So, that is the Loot Crate DX Box Speed Edition from last month's. If you're interested in the box, I can link the normal pricing details, but once again, this is a box that I won for free from the Crate A Day giveaway, so I think they normally run around $46, $50, somewhere around there, with the shipping included. So, if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. and. Be sure to keep an eye out because I'll have more videos coming up soon. So until next time, see ya!